Howdy everyone. Hello and welcome back to your regularly scheduled viewing of the Black Shadow and I have been a uh, a short break but we are back once more. So the year is 1998. Been a couple of years or so since the release of the original Clock Tower for the NES and SNES which is very much a product of its time and then we had Clock Tower 2 at least in Japan um, in 96 which while I can't say was a great game I think it had enough quirkiness and charm to it to be a largely enjoyable if somewhat insane and pothole heavy game. Eh, got was awesome. But it seems that now the devs decide to go a different direction. said about products of its time yeah so I do, do welcome you to the official clock tower 2 the struggle within this is not historically viewed as a particularly strong game uh, even in the case of the clock tower series to be fair to clock tower this game had some competition to deal with I think it had been like a couple of months before this that the legendary Resident Evil 2 uh, first got released onto PlayStation 1. Um, and it was less than a year then, a game that you may have heard of. The, the original Silent Hill would also hit the shelves. So uh, quite a difficult spot for a game like this. But I guess ultimately there is a reason why both those series are still around today. And this one ultimately is not. Maybe we'll get some answers to that over the course of the next few videos or so. It is nice to be back recording some YouTube videos as well. Uh, not, uh, you know, mainly my focus has been oddly forced on streaming. It's the way it's been. Uh, but it is nice to be back with this series once again. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy it too. I've never played this game, unsurprisingly, much like the entire rest of the Clock Tower series. Um, so let's just see how we go. Uh, I don't know what that means. I'm just going to ignore it. Let's view the pamphlet. Ah, yes, of course. The uh, traditional clock tower method of having different endings, different hints, all that sort of stuff. Ah, some things never change. By the way, if you're wondering who the dude is on the right side of your screens... get started. Now, I don't necessarily know quite what to expect from this game, being honest. My understanding is that this game, did, oh boy, <laughs> holy hell, this is 98. She'll be arriving tonight. Ooh. I really think this is okay. not aged well at all. Having her stay with us. Children don't know anything about it. Everything will be okay. I'm glad you think so, Philip. Anyway. Ashley I'm concerned for you. Soon. Don't look so worried. Remember, Resident Evil 2 had come out three months before this. Remember that this. That might be Ashley. Oof. I'll go and see. Oh, off she goes. Oh, <laughs> look at the state of those slippers, man. <laughs> wow. Laura Croft would be embarrassed at the amount of polygons. Alan Hale. That Maxwell curse is... <laughs> Whoa, jeez. Yeah, I would... I would investigate too, Philip. As he calmly opens and exits the door...
Chapter 1. Yellow Cursed Doll. Hello, Uncle Philip, Aunt Catherine, huh? it's Alyssa. <gasps> Was that... I don't know. I don't know what that was. I'm unsure. So, those of you who watched the previous series will notice that this looks very familiar. And the reason it looks familiar is because it is the exact same style. It is the same point and click uh, protocol uh, that was used in the previous game. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I think just... <sighs> Again, you have to bear in mind a bit of context, I suppose, but, like, they're going to come a long way in the space of a couple of years, so this feels very, very almost out of date at this point, but we'll see how we go here. Have a little look around the place. Their shoes are... He is that is that the correct there? Yeah, I guess so. So they must be home. Yeah, I think so. Can we leap? Hmm. How peculiar. I wonder why that would be. Okay, I guess. Well, let's go, uh... Let's go investigating. Maybe we can, uh, find out what's going on. Hello? Hmm. Strange. Yeah, we get into position. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, Alyssa. <laughs> Oh, man. D what? Is what? that a... What's that? <laughs> okay! A leg. Only a leg. Oh, I wonder what this yellow liquid is. This must be Chris's blood. No, it's not. So, yeah. We've come a long way from 1996, and why haven't we? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, well, that's... That's not good. That is very concerning. We should uh, probably continue our investigations. Much like previous well, you can, of course, run in order to uh, move a bit faster. My health also works the same way. Like, if, if you, as things happen, you get less and more, more sort of fatigued. And if you're max fatigued, then, yeah, that's a problem. Speaking of problems. What the God's name's been going on here. We'll ignore the obvious to the right. I wonder what this key goes to. Ooh. All right, find yourselves some uh, some shinies. All right, very nice. This is good. We must continue to find the goods. Does the tumble dry work? No, oh, give us a hint. Nice. Uh, I'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong, huh? Man. Here. Aliens, maybe? <laughs> a human torso. It's pretty messed up. A human yep. torso. Okay, so yeah. Most of the previous games where you do have to sometimes, you know, look at things, you'd be surprised what they obviously pick up. So we've got a leg. We've got a torso. He thinks we've gone into the wrong neighborhood. We shall see. Right. Um, I don't know if I can go up the stairs. Don't believe I can immediately. So uh, here we go. Maybe it's just like the world's worst acid trip, perhaps. I have to rule this out, you know. Gots would, Gots would demand that we <laughs> we rule out the various issues as we go. Never forget Gots. What a man. Oh, the line's dead. Well, shoot. Typical, eh? Alright. 
Well, let's uh, continue looking around. I see some interesting things on the site that could be useful. But I don't think we're allowed to interact with these. Which makes me very, very sad. Because that's clearly a gun. And that's clearly like our sword. And you've seen decapitated beings in this building. No, it's not. You're lying. Stop lying to yourself. And in particular, me. Stop it, Alyssa. It ain't right. This fireplace can still be used. Okay, good. I guess. We need something to use it with. I don't know why we'd use it, but it's good to know. Alright. The only place we can go is this I suppose. I appreciate that, like, you know, um, like it gives you the arrows so it's something to interact. Ah, door's locked, eh? I appreciate it, 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 like, if it's you're leaving the area to go somewhere else, that it kind of indicates as such. That's nice. The dining key. Why would you lock a door to the kitchen? All right, now we've got an arm, and that moved, and is, is moving. This is suspicious. Very, very suspicious. It's only an arm. I think so. I mean, <laughs> fuck me, man. We need to grab some of these drinks and just like <laughs> just just call it a day. What is happening in this place? All right. So there's only certain doors we can seem to use here, which is curious. I don't know why that is, but uh, that seems to be how it is currently. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything to interact with around here. I didn't know you could get back around there. I mean, that's, that's good to know. This is good knowledge. Hmm. Okay. There's nothing else we can do with the arm. No. It's only an arm? I'm trying to get what it's on. It's like some kind of slab or something. Very strange. Uh, well, I mean, if there's anything else to interact with in this room, like, I can't... I can't inherently see it. So, let's just go back, I suppose, for the moment. And maybe it's something else you got to... It was something will trigger now when we come back in or something. Video games sometimes did this in 1998, you know, to kind of lull you to the false sense of security, that sort of thing. Fireplace works, but we need something to use on it. So, I'm immediately noticing a problem with this game. And I don't know if you guys can notice an immediate problem that I am feeling that there is with this game. One of the things I talked about when we did the NES version of this game back here, the 99th version, um, that obviously got released later on 97, is that I think the game had a real issue of pacing. And it was a case of that when the game kind of kicked in and like it upped its pace, I thought it was actually fairly enjoyable. But there was a lot of downtime, and a lot of the time it was pretty... Even by mid-90s standards, I think the game was kind of a bit slow and plodding. I don't think this is doing any favours here. Like, uh, at least in 96, um, with the with the, with the Struggle Within, or whatever one it was, uh, the, 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 the other clock tower. Like, the game was a bit more action-y. It happened a lot more. And I think it definitely helped the pacing a lot over the course of time. And that was a good thing. I'm very much glad for that. Um, but this is like... I get the idea you're trying to go with suspense. I guess it's trying to make the longer play. But... I don't know, man. I think... Uh, I think you're asking... Oh, the phone's ringing. Hold on. I always think it's just a slippy slope when you go down that route, you know. 
But then this is being slightly tempered by modern... Modern uh, views. It was this, right? Oh, the line's dead. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's just one of those errant sounds just to confuse the viewer. Uh, something, I don't know. Let's get ourselves upstairs here. Can't help but notice that behind me. Can't help but feel a little... Concerned. You know? Let's not go anywhere near that. It feels like that's a, that's a bad idea. Oh my god. What even is this? Why are there so many doors in this place? Like, A, it's completely ridiculous and unrealistic, but B, why are there so many doors in this place? You don't need to do this. <coughs> Sorry, everyone. Ooh, spooky. I mean, like, isn't it just what your family's into? It's cool, at least. Ooh, spooky. Sorry, everyone. But yeah, I do really think, like, the, the first, like, five or so minutes in a game makes such a huge difference and is so important. And so far in the first five minutes of this, we've basically, all we've done is open some doors... Um, seeing a woman apparently having to work and a guy. We don't know who anyone is. We don't know what anything's going on. We don't know where we are. We don't know why we're here. And we're just walking around some doors with a girl. It's not a great advert, you know? But again, you compare it to someone like, say, Resident Evil 2 that came out a couple of months beforehand. This And literally, first thing that happens, just, just bam, right into the action, you know? Uh, creepy streets, unsure. Holy shit, there's zombies. Meet your partner, uh, car crash, um, surviving city streets, dodging zombie, and you're just off to the races and you go from there. So I can't help but um, feel a significant difference. Also, very cute. I appreciate the in-game reference. Thank you for that. Uh, speaking of cute, no. <laughs> right, so we've got some sort of bedroom here. I don't know if this is... Uh, um... No. Good God. Oh no, Ashley. That's pretty concerning. My amulet? Your what? No, stop. Your ex Don't be afraid, Alyssa. What in the hell is going on? What's happening? What is happening here? Um, yellow blood. Who breeds yellow blood? <laughs> okay. So. Maybe it's my fault for not reading the manual. But what has happened? We need to break this down. So, we're playing a girl called Alyssa. I think it's Alyssa Hale or something like that. That might be the, 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 the fourth game, I don't remember. We've walked into a building, assumedly, of our parents. And we've come to find... Someone has been morbidly murdered and decapitated and sprung across the house with yellow blood, mind you. And then she says something about an amulet as if we're meant to know about it. And now we're speaking as a guy called Bates. 
what is happening? I... <laughs> you can't... You can't do this in a video game. You, you have to have at least some kind of explanation of what the hell's happening here. You can't just throw it at the wall and say, okay, now you're someone else, maybe? Question mark? I, I, I don't know, everyone. I got nothing here, but uh, apparently we're possessed or we're two people. Does she know about this? Like, what is... What the hell's going on? Yellow blood. Who bleeds yellow blood? Like, is he being serious with that question? Is this sarcasm? What the hell is happening? This needs answers, like, immediately. I... You, but it's just... I don't know, everyone. I... Oh, man. I, uh... I don't know if I could go through, like, ten videos of this, everyone. The door is locked. Well, maybe you could use your apparent magic powers and beat the door down. Or something. I don't know. And for that matter, she says about an amulet. What amulet? There's no amulet in, like, on inventory. There's no... Like, I didn't see an amulet, like, on her possession. I've no idea what's going on. It's also notable as well. It seems that there's only... See, this is interesting. So now that we've changed i guess now there's doors that we can attempt to open which we couldn't before like why couldn't we this definitely didn't mouse over earlier what does that matter is there like some kind of like psionic force across the door that uh freaking bait here has the power to avoid or something Ooh, let's make it dark in here. I'll be really spooky. I, f I don't know what's happening. And I wish... I wish I could tell you. Okay, it's dark, which means we can't interact with anything in here. I didn't realize that was going to be the case. I apologize. <laughs> Mubby. Now we can probably... Yeah, now we can look at some things. Good. What draw? I don't know. I, I, I feel like if if you, these are some games, there are some games that like kind of do like not like a prologue as such, but they'll kind of do like uh, you know, um, what's the one here? They'll kind of like start off with something that happens pretty late into the game. And then you have, like, the recap, and you kind of go back towards that. Um, you know, something like uh, Max Payne, for example, is a very, very good example of a game that kind of starts towards the end. It starts basically at the virtually at the end, and then you end up, like, recapping how you got there the whole way through. Really, really good example of, of doing that kind of sto storytelling. This is... This is like I've loaded a save state on someone else's game and loaded up their memory card and it's like i'm six hours into the game and i meant to have a full understanding of the plot what's happening why it's happening and i don't <laughs> i don't know what's happening at all so we're just gonna ride this train here and we're gonna see where this goes uh philip I think that's Philip. Are you okay, man? Alyssa, you're okay. Who the hell are you? Oh, wait. What kind of place is this? It's like a haunted house. <laughs> What's Alyssa, the voice? No. no. Impossible. Agreed. Alyssa's asleep. I'm here instead.
<laughs> it's... I don't. I don't even. I don't even know. I don't know. Mace doesn't know. Philip definitely has no idea what's going on. So he sees his daughter. We assume. Thank God you're safe. I heard a scream from my wife. So I'm looking for her behind the TV. It's the only logical place she could be hiding. <laughs> Alyssa speaks. And it's a dude's voice. And that's pretty freaky. Put yourself in Philip's shoes. If you had seen your daughter after your wife, I don't know what's happened to her. And she's speaking with a guy's voice. You'd be pretty concerned about what's going on. Philip's response to this situation is to remark that it's impossible and they continue looking behind the TV. What is happening here? This is ridiculous. This, what even was the conversation? Like, this, he should remark more. How has he not run out of the door? How has he not decked Alyssa in the face to try and work? What is happening? I don't have a clue. This is just... This is one of the more bizarre, like, games I've I've ever seen. <laughs> what? What do you mean? How could you lie to me like this? What the fuck? I, I don't know, kids. I don't know. This is, um... I said at the top of this video, I did not know what to expect from this from this game. It wasn't this. I'm... Wow. Okay, so here we are in the bathroom. There doesn't seem to be anything I can particularly interact with. Maybe because it's dark... Maybe because we're possessed by some kind of weird shadow demon. There's no light I can turn on. I what is what is going on here? I I, I seriously don't think I'm gonna be finishing this game. I really don't. Oh my god. This is this is outrageous. Have you ever seen a game? <laughs> now he's gone! And now he's just not there. Sure. You wait for me to leave. And he didn't even leave immediately. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Have you guys ever seen a game like this? Like ever in your lives? Okay. Uh, light. Apparently light is the key to all success in this game. So let's turn on all the light switches. Very 1995. It's a cool room. Uh, it's sort of like a like a like a Chinese tea room sort of thing. You know, you obviously sit down on that and do all this sort of stuff. They're very cool, very awesome. That's exactly why we can't interact with a damn thing in this room because it's not interesting enough to bait. Like, sure, whatever. Let's move on. Okay, now we're outside. This was the door we saw earlier. Like, it opens. So that takes us back to... What is the objective of this game? This one I'm trying to ascertain. What are we trying to... See? We've got a key to a drawer that is locked. Do you guys remember a locked drawer anywhere? I feel like we've seen a lot drawer somewhere, but I don't know. My mind has been just completely torn asunder by what we have witnessed the past 20 odd minutes. I don't even, I don't even know. Can you open the door, Bates? No, you can't. Do you care? Probably, probably not. This is so strange, this game. This is so bizarre. Like, I tr what were human going for with this? All right, let's see some reactions here. How gross. 
Well, at least you agree that it's kind of rather, um, you know, unsavory to see something's leg in a toilet and just blood strewn about. Man alive. This is an experience. This is an absolute experience. All right, then we got the body. What a mess. <laughs> it's just the... It's, it's the absolute audacity of this game to just have things happen and not even remotely tempt, attempt to explain why they've happened. It's extraordinary. Now, there were some doors down here that we couldn't see in the interactive Alyssa for reasons that we don't know. We just were not allowed. Ooh, maybe you can play around with this. This will make things easier. It would, this if you'll take it. Easier. So why can you interact with it in Alyssa not? Is she like too goody, like goody two shoes to interact with that sort of thing? And you're like, I don't give a shit. Is that what's going on here? Like a Jacqueline Hyde sort of thing? Maybe? I don't know. This looks like a fancy drawer. One that one might lock uh, away some secrets inside. Well, what do you know? It's almost like I've played this game before, which I most certainly fucking haven't, and I'm glad. Hey, look at this. Ooh, okay, we have a gun, everyone. All right, it took us like two hours to find a gun in Clock Tetter. Here we are, we've got it in 20 minutes. Doing pretty well here. The phone's ringing again. I'm glad you think so. I'm... I'm not buying what you're selling here. Like, not remotely. So weird. And Bates can't interact with the... Strange! Okay, uh, you can't interact with that door. Let's go into the kitchen, which we open just kind of for the hell of it. It always feels like at the moment we're doing, we're just kind of going like from point A to B. Point B allows the activation of point C, and then point C we go there. Now we can do point D, and they're just completely unrelated. That's a very interesting object on the ground. It's Allegedly. You seem somewhat less perturbed about it, though. What have we got here, then? It's Alyssa's amulet. Is it Ashley's? Okay. Problem number two. Which feels like I'm undercutting a lot of stuff about this game. I think I see where this is going. This is going to be a game where you play as one character, but two distinct personalities. And because they're distinct personalities, it creates the situations where one side is willing and able to interact with certain things that the other one can't. Now, in theory, that sounds good because it means you're do you kind of got to <clears throat> interchange between one form and another. 
um, in order to proceed through the game. We Gaming has been doing this for like 30 years. Um, some of the biggest games you've ever played have had this sort of idea of, you know, of either changing your form or playing as someone else or a different sort of character. You know, freaking hell, freaking Samus Aran's been doing it since 1994 or whatever else that first game came out or something. Maybe slightly later, I don't remember. But when you have a game that's like this, the immediate issue you're going to have is you are basically asking the video game player to play trial and error. And that's literally, I think, what a lot of this game is going to be, is trial and error of, of exploring around as one version of yourself Finding what does and doesn't work, and then I guess somehow, like, click it, I guess, and changing your form or something? You can't even put it down? I don't even know? And then maybe, just maybe, you'll find the solutions to uh, all of life's issues. Like I said, this game was not particularly well received back in 1998. Wow, it's so full. <laughs> and it's like, it's cool, I guess, we get into all these little tidbits and explore around, but what does this really add here? Whoa, holy, it's a panic event. We need to uh, not be here, otherwise... that happens. I had intentions of recording a few episodes tonight. I'm recording this one. I have to know what you guys make of what you've just witnessed before I continue with this series. It is too important <laughs> to myself and the progression of this series. What happened? Man. Thanks for watching, everyone. The struggle within, eh? Struggle is real. Holy damn. See you next time, I think. <laughs>